I'll be showing the all new Reflect in Microsoft Teams for Education. Reflect is a check-in app that supports community, expression, and learning. Students can build their emotional vocabulary while educators are provided with valuable feedback to build a healthy classroom. So let's get started. I'm signed in as the educator and I'm here in my class team. By default, everyone's going to have this new Reflect link right here, both educators and students. So as the educator, I'm going to click here to show it. This is a nice glance of all the different check-ins that have already happened. I've created a bunch as an educator. Some are, how are you feeling today? Just checking the emotional state. You can have your friendships. You can have reflex about specific assignments, like how well do you understand adjectives? You can see some are closing soon. Some of these check-ins have already closed. You can also see that they're posted in either Teams or OneNote, and I'll show OneNote class notebook later. You can sort by the different columns here, and you can quickly glance at the check-in results right here and getting a sense of how the different students were feeling. The most important part and the core part of Reflect, though, is to create a check-in. So I'm going to click Create a Check-in right here as a teacher. And the first step is select a question. So how are you feeling today? That's a common one that educators might ask, just kind of like the fist to five. This is just the digital version of how you're feeling. You can ask about how your friendships are doing. You can also ask about a specific topic. So in this case, maybe I want to ask about a reading assignment. And I'll just click and enter that. And this is something we've added new, custom questions. Also, privacy is very important. So you can set what the students can see. So right now, by default, students can see other people's responses, but not the names. And we never show the names of any student in the class. You can also set it to say, no student can see anyone else's responses and no names. So that's the super private version. But I'll leave it as responses can be seen of other students, but not their names. And then the educators can always see everything. The other nice thing we have is if you're using Reflect for the first time and you want to see what it's going to look like on the student side, there's this demo student view. I'll click this. And now this shows what the students are going to see on their end. So this is really cool. You have the feelings monster, as we call it. This is showing a pretend student view of all the different Reflect check-ins that student has done. And when you hover as a student, you can see what you checked in and what feelings monster you chose. So this is what it would show. How are you feeling about today's reading assignment? And as a student, I might click and I'll choose this middle one. And these are the different emotions. So naming the emotions this is a really powerful tool that students any age, even adults, this can help with well-being and social emotional learning. So as you hover over a different word, it shows the feelings monster. And this can help students identify more specifically how they're feeling. So skeptical, shocked, maybe I'm bored, maybe I'm comfortable, maybe I'm okay, but I'm kind of in the middle. So in this case, I might be confused about the reading assignment. So I click this and it adds confused right here. And then I can go down here and see submit. It shows the feelings monster and then I can click close. So as a student, this is the check-in that I just did and I can change my response. But remember, this is the demo view. So I will click exit student view at the bottom. Now my check-in is ready to go. I'm going to click next. Now this is the scheduling of the check-in. How long do you want that window to be open? You can leave the window open for a week, multiple days, 24 hours. I'm just going to leave it at eight hours as the default for my class. And you can choose what channel to post it to. So there's lots of different channels here. I'm going to post this to the reading channel. And I'm going to click at the bottom, post check-in. So now I've just posted it. It's at the top of my list here. How are you feeling about today's reading assignment? Now I'm going to drill into a specific check-in and we're going to look at the details. So I open this and I can see a lot of details. We have the filtered little tabs here so I can click on each tab and it filters how the different students were feeling and even the previous check-ins of each of these students. And so you can very quickly see what's happening across the class. There's even a little color graph right here and you can click on show percentage and it'll add a percentage next to each little feeling. So now I have a sense across the class what is the makeup. But my favorite feature is this new one called Together View, and this is really powerful. If I click Together View for this check-in, you're going to see what was inspired by Teams Together Mode, all of the different feelings monsters for your class. So this gives you a quick sense of how is my class feeling. So I can hover over any of these feelings monsters and see how the people are feeling. Looks like this person, Alex, he's feeling a little bit hopeless today. 
and this person is feeling a little bit jealous. So it's a really powerful way to get a sense at a glance of how your class is doing. You can even hide student names. So if you don't wanna know the different names of the students, now you just know that these different feelings in the class and this is how the students are feeling. So together view is really powerful to give you that at a glance sense of what's the state of my class? How are people feeling today? If all the feelings monsters are red after recess, you might wanna check in and see what's going on. And we'll close this and I'll hit back. Now to see all the deeper insights of your entire class, you can go here and choose view check-in trends. This pulls up a glimpse of insights. I'm gonna show the deeper dive of insights in a little bit, but just for your class here, this is really nice. It shows the number of check-ins, average participation, even the top words, creative and cheerful in this case. And I can scroll down and I can see the different responses across these different check-ins. The most common words like creative and cheerful we just said, you can see how different students are responding and what are the most common types of terms. Here's the student list and you can see at a detailed level each the last couple check-ins and the participation those students have had. So a lot of really powerful data that historically educators haven't really had access to. In addition to teams, you can also filter by class notebook. And I will show the class notebook integration in just a little bit. Going back to teams here, you can also filter on the different types of reflect questions. You can look at the different types of days by filtering. You could say, hey, let's just look at this week and everything will filter on just that week. You could see participation was down a little bit on average over the past week. And I'll close this. If you wanna access all those same check-in trends through the full insights, go over here on the left and choose insights. And this is the full insights dashboard. And you have things like digital activity, assignments, reading progress, and then here is reflect. So if you wanna access reflect right through the main insights, go here and you'll see all of those same insights, very similar to what we were just looking at. Next up is class notebook integration with reflect. So if I go into my class notebook here, we'll show how this works to add a class notebook check-in with reflect. Note that currently this only works with class notebooks that are attached to Teams, and specifically it will work with the OneNote that is inside of Teams. So you have to have the OneNote inside of the Teams desktop here or in the web. I'll show it in the web. And we'll maximize this. Open up the navigation pane and let's go into the content library. And I'll go here. Now here's a page that I wanna to distribute to my class. I will click on the class notebook tab here. And first I'm gonna open up Reflect. Now here are the different options I have. What would you like the students to reflect on? Their confidence to succeed, their motivation to learn, understanding of the content, et cetera. So I'll click on understanding of the content and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page and I'm just gonna click where I want this check-in to go. So we'll go right here. Now I'm gonna choose add check-in to page. Click that. This adds that reflect check-in. So how well do you understand what is a claim? And students can respond with a smiley face or a middle face or a frowny face or none at all. Now what I'll do is I will close the reflect check-in pane and I'm going to distribute this page to my students. So I'll click distribute page, choose this, and now I'm gonna distribute the page and we'll put this into class notes. And I will click distribute. Okay, it's all done. Now we'll switch over to Alex the student who got this page and we'll show how the reflect check-in works. I'm signed in as Ella and I'll go to my class notebook. I'll open it up here and I'm gonna open up my notebook as Ella and go to class notes. Here's the new page, what is a claim? Here's the page my teacher distributed, so we'll scroll to the bottom, and there is that check-in. So how well do you understand what is a claim? So I'll say, I understand that pretty good, I get it. Could change this, maybe I'm like, hmm, I don't get it yet. And then I can submit. Also notice it says, who can see it? If I hover, only the teacher can see this reflection. Great, and that's from Kara Coleman, she's the teacher. So we'll submit. Okay, it's submitted. So you can also even change your response. So if I decide, you know what, actually maybe, maybe I get it somewhat, I can go back here and hit submit. So you can change your response as well. And as I showed earlier, you can see all of your class notebook check-ins in the insights area in the same spot you see everything else. A brand new update that just came out this September of 2022 is that we've added Reflect to default staff teams. So during the pandemic, there's also been a lot of teacher pressure in the way that the pandemic's been. So it's great to check in with staff. As an example, I'll go into this staff team here and I'm a staff member, I'm not the staff leader, 
But if you go to reflect, you'll be able to see a lots of different check-ins. So similar to students, hey, how are you feeling today? And there's lots of other types of check-ins that a staff leader can do. So I can give my check-in, maybe I'm feeling comfortable, I can go here, mm, maybe I'm focused today, and I'll hit submit, and then close. I'll switch to a different staff to show some default types of questions that we have. So I'll leave this one, and I created this staff team just now. As the staff owner, I'll go to reflect. And this is where I can create check-ins. So if I click create check-in, there are some different types of questions that are default for the staff. So classroom relationships, educator support, or custom. So lots of different options if you're talking about staff and education. This is a great way to get check-ins in the same way that a teacher would do with a classroom. If you want to share Reflect with your district or other people, there's this great new web page we just launched that's at reflect.microsoft.com. Link is on the screen in the description. It's actually a beautiful website. So if you scroll down, you can see all the different aspects, building awareness and empathy, growing emotional vocabulary and other things, how to use Reflect, how to respond, the focus areas. So a lot of great information on this site and it's actually quite fun to use. It's very whimsical and really beautiful. And there's other places that Reflect has been integrated too with PowerPoint, Kahoot, and even Flip. So I encourage you to explore this site and make Reflect part of your routine. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.